This is Ronnie, and Ronnie came into the clinic because Ronnie was drooling and appeared to have trouble eating. So um, we always do a complete physical examination. And notice that Ronnie looks like a nice, healthy cat, um, has a really good weight. Uh, you can see that in cats you want to be able to fill the ribs. So many cats have so much fat through here and underneath they carry a lot of fat um, in here because cats are free fed and so this is just a little plug for um, controlling how much your cat eats and making sure they don't get fat because oh, if they're fat it can take two years off their life and also lead to common problems like arthritis and diabetes. Arthritis and diabetes. Anyway, so um, we'll look at look at Ronnie's little eyes, and we look for discharge. We look at the nose and look for discharge. Um, chronic upper respiratory uh, infections are really common in cats, and caused by several different viruses. And those viruses can also um, have attacked cats from early in life and cause ulcers in their in the back of their mouth and you can see in, in Ronnie's mouth look at those the red inflamed areas and Ronnie doesn't like that but right beside the tongue and back in there in there and um, I know sweetie that's called the caudal stomatitis it's a uh, it's an inflammation of the back of the throat and it's not due to gingivitis or infection or inflammation around the teeth. It's probably due to an experience Ronnie had with viruses and bacteria early in Ronnie's life. Um, Calissi virus, herpes virus, and then bacteria like Bartonellosis will sometimes cause uh, them to develop these oral lesions. Well, we've taken out all Ronnie's teeth except for the canines. But you can see that the, the inflammation doesn't have anything to do with existing teeth, so it's not due to a gingivitis around or tooth infection or a reaction to tartar, and that's what it can be in some cats when they have mild tartar due to uh, or mild tartar causing gum inflammation. This is actually due to a viral condition or bacterial condition. So we treat these types of cases with full mouth extractions as we've done and then usually a low level of cortisone and sometimes antibiotics so we have given Ronnie an injection of, of cortisone and now I'm going to try antibiotics to see if I can reduce the swelling and inflammation it's sometimes, sometimes you have to experiment with different drugs to make them more comfortable Ronnie's inflammation in the back of the mouth isn't due to the typical inflammation such as this where tartar builds up and causes inflammation at the gum line and infection. And if that's the case in your cat, you should always consider getting the teeth clean or try to get them some chewy treat to where they can get some of that tartar off. In Ronnie's case, his inflammation was in the back of the throat and it's called a caudal stomatitis or palatoglossal stomatitis. And that's because it's near the soft the palate and the tongue. Palate is palato, glosso is tongue, and that needs cortisone and also uh, some sometimes antibiotics to make them feel better along with a full mouth extraction if that kind of inflammation is around the teeth. Those are the only ways really to treat it. I know that sounds awful, but uh, pulling all the teeth is really helpful in many of the cases. And I just wanted to have a plug too for uh, keeping your cats thin. Um, many people have cats that are slightly stout like this one and you have to limit the dry food that cats that cats that tend to get heavy eat and probably it's better to mix in some wet food and reduce the dry food or at least measure out the dry food. Exercise is great but who can make cats exercise? It's not easy. If you get a chance check, take a look at my website Dog Dish Diet. I have uh, a book on better ways to feed your dogs and also a home cooking book for dogs and cats. It's kind of a general book that teaches you how to cook for your dog and cat, home cook and supplement their food and also uh, gives you some tips on how to feed cats a better diet. Have a great day.